Hey everyone, CW Music Reviews here. I'm CWD, and this is going to be a compilation, a list of albums that were my favorites of March and April. I'm going to tackle March and then tackle April real quick. So let's start with March, obviously. These are my top five favorite albums of March 2016. Uh, I want to give an honorable mention to the, the new albums from Flatbush Zombies, 2001, 3001, A Laced Odyssey. That was a really consistent, really cohesive um, project from those guys. I just didn't feel like returning to it as much as I want to. It still do give that a try. They certainly do flow well. The production is pretty nice, if a bit, well, if a bit somewhat one-dimensional. And I also want to give an honorable mention to the Full of Hell and the Body. The I also want to give an honorable mention to the Body and the Full of Hell album. One day you will ache like I ache. Uh, really mind-bending noise rock, noise core metal core, grind core type sound right there that I had a lot of anticipation for and I it's grown on me quite a bit since then. Alright, number five, RJT2. Uh, by the way, I'm not... Oh, oh yeah, by the way, I'm not um, editing these videos like as before, so there's that. Alright, number five, RJD2, Dame Fortune. RJD2, well-known producer, multi-instrumentalist, cut from the same background as LPs and ASAP Rock and all those other people. Uh, he's come together with another album, gave it a try, loved it, certainly. It's um, definitely going to be a highlight for the year. If you like your if you like your producers that have a really eclectic uh ear for like inst different instrumentations if you like psychedelic music funk, mu funk music alternative hip hop um, all these maybe some IDM thrown in there then definitely do check this album out it's certainly a pretty good release there number four Kendrick Lamar Kendrick yeah number four Kendrick Lamar Untitled Unmastered Kendrick Lamar easily my favorite and probably the best rapper of this generation right now. He's following up to Pimp a Butterfly with this collection of untitled songs that may may or may not have been just um, not really throwaway tracks but like leftovers from that album and even these leftovers are really good. I know I gave it a plus 1.9 at on initial re reaction, initial review, but it's grown on me a lot since then, and I definitely looking forward to returning to it, as well as looking forward to what Kendrick's going for next. Uh, really off kilter vibe with this album. I do like his flow and the production on here, even if it's demo-ish, but still do definitely check this record out if you have not somehow and if you haven't ke check it, checked out Kendrick by now you'll need to make a note of fixing that number three the new Boris and Merzbow album Ginsho uh, Boris experimental metal band Merzbow pioneering no noise pioneer yeah uh, they came together with another another collaborative record and it is some really intense stuff. Uh, they're, they're, it's essentially two separate albums, but each side is meant to be played at the same time. Um, how you go about doing that? I pretty much just took my iPad and played the Mersbow side and pulled up on my de on the desktop on the iTunes the Boris side and just balanced them out. Um, the way they need to be, and it's some wild stuff. Certainly, by themselves, it's they're they're solid yet standard releases. But together, they make a really excellent release that you should definitely check out if you're an experimental metal guy, if you're a noise guy. Certainly, uh, number two and one. Uh, this is kind of a tie, but I came to this conclusion uh, relatively. In, this pretty much came to a tie in terms of musical quality, but 
even though I did rate one lower than the other by a whole decimal, but yeah, uh, this is pretty much it here. My consensus on this. Uh, number two, number two, big ups before a million universes. Yeah, this was a really good month for noise music, certainly. Uh, if you're into noise rock, if you're into post rock, then post rock, maybe some post hardcore. You definitely check this album out. They are definitely uh, channeling their inner slint on this album uh, at a lot of moments, and it's only grown on me with each listen, and I'm definitely looking forward to what the band is going to be up to next, as well as eventually listening to a million um, thousand years, their previous album, their debut album, which for some reason I haven't got to yet. But, my number one favorite album of March, I gotta give it to The Body. No one deserves happiness. The Body, they came together with probably one of the most intricate and really inter interesting albums of this month for metal music in particular, as well as experimental rock. Uh, and I didn't expect to like this as much as I did, since I thought the collaborative album with Full of Hell was just really good, but they definitely uh, put more effort into this release than the one they did with uh, Full of Hell. So, if you're into experimental metal music, if you're into noise rock, if you're into like all that stuff, then definitely do check this out. This really damages the human soul in a way, but in a good way. It's really disturbing, really twisted, and just really interesting and varied, That and my favorite album of March. Okay, uh, now for the month of April, I want to give a shout out to the new Tim Hecker record. Uh, that was certainly a good release there. Um, right now, it's right now it's kind of my favorite electronic album, but I'm hoping that changes from here to now. Certainly, especially since Flying Lotus might put out a new album, hopefully. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me get this. Let me get this organized. Okay, number five, Aesop Rock, The Impossible Kid. Aesop Rock came together with another solid release. I'm. I know I gave it a plus one point nine originally, but. It's grown on me with more listens, and I've been getting more and more of his lyrical wordplay, certainly. And from what I've understand of him, from what I've understood of him, this is his more personal and maybe slightly accessible release yet. And it's definitely something you gotta look look um, forward to. Um, if you're into artists that rap and do their own production then definitely do check this out. This is definitely a highlight for hip-hop for this year, and probably my favorite alternative hip-hop release of the year right now. Uh, number four, the new Weezer album, The White Album. Weezer are back. They, While they're not really doing anything too different for them or too different for their influences they have, they came together with a nice immediate, catchy, pop rock and alternative rock album that I just keep going back to over and over and over again. There's not really a single bad track or one track that's less than the other on the album aside from Jacked Up, but that's just me personally. Um, if you've been waiting for Weezer to put out a great album, a really good album, then wait no longer, give this a try. Alright. Uh... Number three, the new Sturgill Simpson album, A Sailor's Guide to Earth. Sturgill Simpson being this alternative country musician, he's putting out, he's finally gained a new fan in me with this nice fusion of psychedelic music, southern rock, Americana, his alternative country sound. It's definitely a really interesting and probably the best country music album of the year as of right now, anyway. I'm open for something to change there, but regardless, this is definitely a good a good album. Check it out if you have not already, even if you're a skeptic when it comes to country music, because this is particularly good. 
Okay. Number two, Beyonce, Lemonade. Beyonce, surprise release, a new album, Lemonade, about infidelity, supposedly linking this album to infidelity Jay-Z committed on her. But beyond this, it's definitely going for a more artistic a more artistic and intricate vibe with like the, all this varied instrumental and production choices it, it's got a lot of it's got a lot of collaborators on this album which a lot of people decried but when you're listening to when but the music is still the music and I think the music is quite fantastic and right now it's my favorite pop album it's my it's my favorite pop it's right now it's my favorite pop album of the year and I'm definitely looking forward to if Beyonce is going to drop a new album in the same vein. From what I understand, Jay Z is going to be dropping an album that's pretty much his side of the story. But um, I'm definitely going to review that. But I don't know if it's going to be as good as this. Definitely. But finally, my favorite album of April: King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, Nodagon Infinity. King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, Australian rock ba band, and they finally dropped a, a, a new and they've. Yeah, they've dropped a new album to add to their prolific discography. It's essentially this infinitely looping psychedelic and garage rock ba uh, jam that, when you put it on repeat, the last track of the album loops perfectly well into the first track. And it's definitely, right now, my favorite rock album of the year. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to what they're doing next, especially if it's going to be in this... That's that's a sorry. That's my dryer. It, if, especially if it's going to be this conceptual and really intricate, and I'm definitely going to keep close attention to what they're doing next. Certainly. So yeah, that's my favorite albums of March and April. Uh, what did you think of these albums? Did you like them as much as me? Did you dislike them as much as me? Are you somewhere in the middle? And what should I consider reviewing for the month of May? And I've already, I've already got a few of, th of them in mind, certainly. Um, yeah. This is CW Music Reviews here, saying off.